Hey guys, it's Farmer Brad here, and I'm going to go ahead and plant in this chicken tractor greenhouse. And I just did a check, and it's currently 39 degrees outside and 61 degrees inside. So uh, I think the main target is you want to try to keep things above 40, uh, 50 if possible. So I'm going to try to get these planted in there. And I just also wanted to mention a uh, shout out to Homesteady. So I just finished doing my morning chores and now I'm going to be planting on here. Uh, so make sure to check out Austin at Homesteady. Uh, he has a website, thisishomesteady.com. And uh, let's get into planting. I basically checked out the seed packets that I have and was aiming for the lowest temperature needed for germination. I have uh, dinosaur kale, I'm trying uh, carrots, okra, radish, lettuce, baby choy, and beets. And we'll see if we can fit them all in this little chicken tractor um, greenhouse. And then I have a watering can because uh, I, I put away the garden hoses, so I'll be hand watering this. Uh, but it seems to be generating a decent amount of moisture and uh, increase in temperature. Uh, so that's pretty good. The other thing is, is I have this uh, organic granular sample that I received uh, at Mother Earth News Fair a year or two ago. And this is my Corhize, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, basically it's a uh, 312 and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that in there. It, uh, Works with uh, potting soil or soilless media, and uh, I'm just gonna just try to see if this will give it a little little boost. But it basically helps for microbial environment to generate. So this is look what it looks like after it's been sitting for a few days. And let me lift this up. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this plastic out so I can have all of the dirt available for planting. Now the other thing we want to keep in mind is how tall the plants will get. So along the sides, you'll want to do the shorter veggies and then in the middle, the taller ones. So I'll probably put Brussels sprouts. I think I brought up some Brussels sprouts, not sure. And then I do that in the middle. So let's get to planting. So two of the tools that I was able to find in the barn was a little kid's shovel and a flathead screwdriver. That will help make the little trenches or grooves in the soil so that then I can plant the seeds then cover it back up. First up, I'm going to be planting the carrots. Now, I'm going to put them on the far side since it will probably be quite a while before they're harvested and that's the harder side to get to. Um, the side that I have set up for easily opening is where I'll put the lettuce.
Okay, the carrots are done. So in the middle row, I'm gonna plant some kale and some Brussels sprouts. And I'm gonna sprinkle some of this stuff down in there to give it a boost. Plant some of that, or sprinkle some of that in there. So this is the Brussels sprouts, and then on the sides I'm going to do kale. So I can go ahead and sprinkle that up and cover that up. So I'm doing this 100% uh, dinosaur kale. Oh wow, this requires a uh, 12 inch spacing. Let's try to do the same thing over here.
this is where the lettuce is going to be and I lucked out and the lettuce says that sunny to part shady and so this board will shade it some just trying to level that out now let's see now I'm going to make it a uh, a mix by putting these two different types of lettuce seeds together. I'm just gonna shake it up. Let's see. Okay, so this is what I'm uh, planting. And then the other one is Cameroon lettuce. And I'm going to probably put it in two rows here. So I'm gonna sprinkle this stuff down. Looks like the end of that. Let's mix that up. Then we got some more. That's done. And let's see what we can plant in this last bit. I'm gonna do these uh, white radishes. Now the only thing left to do is water them. So I'm gonna get some water. I forgot to mention that inside, I do have a sensor push temperature sensor, and that's what allows me to be able to determine what the temperature is. Thanks for watching this video, and uh, just a disclaimer, I don't know if this will work, um, but you don't know until you try, so figured I might as well utilize 
an out of season chicken tractor that's not going to be used this winter and make it usable. So I'll keep you updated on how this goes. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I try to have the intersection of homesteading and technology. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.